guys, it's Annie, and today I'm gonna be sharing with you what I eat in a day fall edition. I've done what I eat in a day to lose weight in the past and you guys really seem to like those. But today's isn't necessarily geared towards weight loss, but it's also not bad food. I do want to point out in this video, I will be using my air fryer that I got from Avalon Bay and I legitimately use this thing every day. I cook my chicken in it. It makes the best chicken and I cook a lot of other things in it as well but daily I use it for chicken. I do have a discount code for it so make sure to check that out below. It'll be on the screen as well so take advantage of that. But before I go on too much let's get on with the video. The very first thing I do right away in the morning is I get myself a big glass of water. It's really good to start your day off with water before anything else. It jump starts your metabolism and just gets your body up and running. And then I also have a cup of coffee. But before drinking my coffee, I chug the water down right away. As for what I put in my coffee, Trader Joe's has pumpkin spice almond beverage during the fall time, so I put some of that in there, followed by this Natural Bliss Caramel Creamer, very tasty, very fall. Yes, caffeine is required every morning. For my breakfast, I'm gonna show you how I make the best fall-inspired oatmeal ever. I make this quite often during this time of year. So I'm just starting out by making some plain old oatmeal and we'll add the fall touches at the end. Then for toppings, I just put some peanut butter on top. Then I put some dark chocolate chips, followed by some sunflower seeds. And then I top it off with the pumpkin spice almond beverage. No joke, you guys, this stuff is so good. I can't even describe to you how amazing and how much I crave it all the time. So you're just gonna have to try it out for yourself. we are busting out the air fryer. This makes all your favorite fried foods oil-free, so it's a healthier version of those foods. I got this off of airandwater.com, and if you use the code OHMY, all caps, you can get 25% off. I will link it down below. Make sure to take advantage of that. But I am starting out by preheating the air fryer to 360 degrees. For my chicken breast, I am seasoning it with pink Himalayan sea salt and some lemon pepper seasoning on both sides. And yes, this is an oil-free fryer, but I still like to spray some coconut oil spray on the bottom just because, why not? And then I pop it in the air fryer for 17 minutes. And when that's done, it comes out perfect. It's perfectly cooked, it's juicy, it is the best chicken I've ever had. And I'm putting it on a salad, so I'm using this Harvest Blend salad mix that I got from Trader Joe's. And I like to put rice on my salads. It just adds a little something extra. It makes it a little heavier. And this is brown rice. And then I'm adding the chicken that I've chopped up, as well as some tomatoes, onions, and avocado. And then I'm adding the toppings that came with the salad kit. So these are dried figs and cranberries, some pumpkin seeds, and these are cornbread croutons. I'm also adding just a little light drizzle of the pumpkin vinaigrette that came with it, but I always, always, always put honey mustard on my salads because I am obsessed with honey mustard. And there is my fall salad. Honestly, I can never order salads at restaurants because the ones I make at home are way better than anything I can ever get at a restaurant. For snack time, we are making some air fried kale chips today and I'm putting about a tablespoon of melted coconut oil on top. You can use any kind of oil you want, but I had coconut oil and just evenly coating all of the kale. To season, I'm using nutritional yeast, some garlic powder, drizzling on some lemon juice, and then just topping it off with some salt as well as this chili and lime seasoning blend that I get from Trader Joe's, it's really good. And then just make sure everything is evenly coated. And now it's time for the air fryer. Once again, I'm setting it to 360 degrees and popping those bad boys in. And you're gonna wanna cook these for about five minutes, but at two to three minutes in, you wanna take them out and give them a good shake just so it doesn't burn. And then at the end of the full five minutes, they are done. These are cooked perfectly. Highly, 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 highly recommend. For dinner, we are going full on fall with some acorn squash, just like my mom used to make it back when I lived at home. 
and I'm just gonna cook one half. I'm coating that with some coconut oil, adding some butter as well as some brown sugar. And I'm also just adding a little bit of brown sugar on the edges as well, because I can, why not? To cook this bad boy, I'm placing it in an oven that I preheated to 350 degrees for 45 minutes. And while that's cooking, I'm cooking everything else. I'm making some green beans. There are also some chopped up onions in there and ignore how stained my pots and pans are. They're sad, I need to replace them, I know. But now I'm gonna make some vegan pulled pork, which is clearly not pork at all. It is made out of green jackfruit, P.S. This whole dinner is actually vegetarian. To season, I am adding some salt some chili powder, and also some garlic powder. And you're gonna cook it on the stove in a pan on medium to low heat. And again, this is a very sad scratch pan that needs to be replaced. It takes about eight minutes to start softening up and you can add your barbecue sauce and the more you work with it, it will get softer and it will turn into that pulled pork look and texture. You can use a fork to help you out if you want, but once it gets to the desired look, it is done, it is good to go. And by then, my green beans are just about done and I like to top them off with some salt, some garlic powder, some cayenne seasoning, and some pepper. By then, my acorn squash is about done, so it's time to assemble and devour. If I'm hungry later, I will have a snack, which I usually am, and I've been all about prosciutto lately. So good, I've been taking these pumpkin cranberry crisps from Trader Joe's, some laughing cow light Swiss cheese spread, and then I top those off with a slice of prosciutto. This is so good, I crave it all the time. And I usually don't eat pork products, but I can't not eat this so I have no self-control. But it's actually a pretty low calorie snack and it's also really simple and that's all there is to it. That's also all there is to this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos weekly and let me know which meal or snack inspired you the most, which one you'd like to try out. But that's all I have for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.